Hi folks, Mikey Rye here, and today in Towards the Pantheon, we're going to explore Adapirion, because we just kind of dashed off at save last time, and you know what, we've been doing some mind digging and mind diving and dying and blah, so it's time to actually just have a chill out and just try and explore our surroundings a bit. Why do I get the feeling that all the doors are going to be locked, because nobody, nobody wants our grubby human and feline mitts all over their stuff, right? Well, there's a dead memory. Oh boy, she needs some serious level up itch. I'm gonna give her one there. So I need to do some. I do need to do some grinding, believe me. But of course, that's not for videos because you don't want to see me doing that. That's not the most interesting part of an RPG for other people to watch. That's why I thought I'd do some talking to people. I'd like to head northwest to Akio, but the roads are all blocked off, and the only way is through the sewers. No thanks. Yeah, that's where we're going. I love the cars, by the way. They're very, they remind me of GTA 2 cars because they always felt like they were hover cars. I know they weren't, they were just smoother lines. When it comes to the GTA 1, which was all blocky, there was a lot more cars that had their smooth definition, so it looked like they were hovering. But they weren't because they left screech marks on the road. Screech marks? Skid marks. I'm talking crap. Let's just carry on with the actual, this thing. I still wonder what happened with to Akanoid after he invented the cards and combos we collect with those other races. It's like all of them just vanished without a trace. Hmm. Things here are getting rough here. Let's try that sentence again. Put my teeth back in. Things are getting rough here, but I'm at least glad it's not as rough as over in Akio. Wow, I get the feeling that Akio is going to be a bad time. Why do I get that feeling? Can I explore this garbage? No, I cannot explore the garbage. So that looks like a sewer grid to me. Oh, maybe not. I heard rumors that Akadoy knew of one of the hangers and that's why he's disappeared. Who knows if that's true though? Hmm. Apparently Triton of the Vavok came from Adapirion. That's true, that's pretty cool. Triton, huh? I need to learn some more of these old legends names. Man, every, this place is a dump. It's meant to be so futuristic. But it's just full of junk. Oh, what's this? Oh my god. Hi. <laughs> what are you guys up to? This establishment is now closed. Scram. Oh, you're still staying Scram, are you? Are you all saying the same thing? Oh my god, you are. Oh my word. Well, fine. Take the open sign off the door then, you jerks. The story behind those rioters and biker bozos down in the sewers is pretty sad. Though they fought against the Tura Force, but were banned by us electropunks from living above ground after one of them killed Shinoko Saki. Is it right to condemn an entire group for the actions of an individual? We're getting into moralistic discussions here. You know, the whole blame one for everything scenario. I blame everyone for one person's... Oh, you guys. Move along now, peasant. Oh my word, you guys are really out in force around here, aren't you? Don't tell it me, Mishima. You're lucky you haven't been banished from Adipirion. Uh, what's this place? Oh, wait a minute, this is, this is where we started. This is, okay, fine, fine. Should have remembered that. Hello there, cool dudes. Everyone's got cool hair. It's like, it's like anime town. Mech. Mech. Cyborg anime peeps. Ever since the sworn light have begun influence in our city, I've noticed a massive increase in homelessness and unemployment. It's almost like they want people dependent on them so that they become more powerful. He's walk. <laughs> Join us. Join the revolution. We could use your help. Why is there a tent in the middle of the city? This is like a weird place to keep a tent. Hi. No customers again tonight. This is getting depressing. What happened? Well, this place used to be packed every night. But I think those soldiers are being bribed by other businesses with grease and batteries. I can't compete with the new rules put in place. I no longer have the extra profit margins I need to be able to compete in this bribing war. If that weren't bad enough, I think I'm having my shipments blocked by those soldiers. That's terrible. I don't know what to do. I don't want to have to close down. Hmm, maybe we can fix it for you. Oh, sneaky little back room. 
There's nothing in it except loads of computers. The code is scrolling across the screens at an incredible rate. It's impossible to read. We need Johnny Five. He'll be able to tell us what's going on. All right. Oh wait, can we just really even with Mishimi? I meant Mishima, of course, not Mishima. I'm sorry. Just, just making names up as I go along. It's what I do. Uh, this is a speed. Oh God! It's a, it's a, it's just a cyberpunk speedster. Check him out. <laughs> That's a great little extra touch. Uh, honestly, I really appreciate that little bit of extra. Just the, the, the little details. My taste bud levels are really low. You wouldn't happen to have a smoothie or shake, would you? Uh, I don't think I do. I have coffee. I have some protein powder that you can make a shake with. Excuse me, I'm running low on CPU points. Could we link up our cardio chips for a few minutes? Um, I'm sorry, I actually don't have one. Seriously? Get out of my face. What are you doing here then anyways? Watch it, buddy. We've got her back now. I live here just like everyone else. We don't need human filth like you around here. Well, we have enough problems with these soldiers as it is. You insult Mishima one more time, and you'll see what we felines are capable of. This kitty's got claws. Uh, no, no, no. This is all wrong. Let's just go. Please. Oh, I feel bad for Mishima. She's just trying to fit in. I'm on the lookout for some chipsets. Right now, I only have the red one, which means I can only hack certain programs on my computer. Hopefully, I'll find some more. Not if I'll find them first. Bleh. So, which way am I meant to go? Oh, great insignia? That's meant to be a hint. Definitely a hint. Phew! I think I put a bit too much grease in my drinks. Ugh. Chew here is out a bit too much this evening. Time to get out the stretcher and wheel her home. <laughs> oh god. Oh, hello. Yellow b -b 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 battery. What's this all about? Blue screen on the computer states that an error has occurred. Oh no, it's the blue screen of death. <laughs> uh, I guess the cyberpunks aren't much for books. I've not seen any bookshelves in any of their houses yet. I guess all their stuff's on computers, right? Living in the digital age and stuff, you know. I like the little splits between societies though. It's like, my village is very old school, like fantasy RPG-ish. Now we're suddenly in like kind of cyberpunk sci-fi RPG. Which is cool. I like the signs for the shops though. They're cute. I love it. Definitely heavily Japanese inspired. You lot look suspicious. Any reason I should not report this ugly group of misfits? There's just too many people in this city asking for a punch right in their frickin' circuits. Ugly misfits? You sure have poor taste. I'm adorable. Bam. Whatever. Get out of my house before I call over a soldier. Well, I was going to say not club rifle through your shit, but you haven't got any. So, pfft, you're no use to me. Let's mosey on up here. This place is huge, mongus. Since our soldiers are blocking all the bait exits, the only way out of the city is through the sewers. It's dangerous down there. Most of our CPUs are running low, so we're essentially trapped. I heard the entrance to the sewers is inside one of the locked buildings. Oh, uh, that's why I haven't found it yet. Don't know why people are complaining. I think what these soldiers are doing is great. There's always one, isn't there? There's always one person supporting the bloody dictatorship. I get free rations of oil every week. Some of the laws benefit me personally, so who cares? As long as I'm profiting, it doesn't matter if everybody else is suffering. My God. It's always one. Ooh. Oh, the great key. I wonder which door I wonder which specific door with a grey insignia on this would open. Hi there, blocking the door lady. This used to be my hotel. I've had to shut it down because of all the regulations the Swan Lights put in place. 
My family's run this place for centuries and now we can't because some outsiders think they know what's best for us. Funny how people think they always know what's best for others. Hmm. There's a lesson in that little speech somewhere, isn't there? I guess all you guys are just saying the same thing. Yep. No unauthorized personnel allowed. Carry on with your business, peasant. Yeah, you're not even trying anymore, guys. You're just like a big bunch of robots. No offense, cyberpunks. I would never compare you guys to these guys. Wow. Okay. Well then. I've got a lot of decisions. A lot of decisions. I've got a lot of choices here. My first choice is going to be finding that tent again and saving. It's probably a good idea. Oh, there it is. Oh, look. We're going to have a random campfire in the middle of the city. Why do people around here give you such a hard time, Mishima? Oh, I'm sorry, I powered down for the night. I wasn't thinking that you were going to talk to me. Um, well, you see, most people around here have what are called cardio chips. We're born part human and most of us choose to replace our hearts with these chips. Many here consider you a lesser being if you still have a heart because many electropunks think humans are by nature inferior. Oh, buh, buh, buh. oh, I see. Why don't you just get a chip then? Your friends are like, she just, she wants a heart. She just wanted to become a tin man. Fred pulls on Bob's tail. Ow! I guess that was rude. <laughs> Sorry, Mishima. Don't worry about it. Well, hey. Whether or not you have a cardio chip doesn't matter to us. Neither of us have a super cool arm like that. Thanks, Bam. <laughs> Trying to make me feel better. I know we've just met, but don't let what these people think have anything to do with us. Freer and I admire how well you fought and that you wanted to prove your loyalty to your community. That's why we asked you along on our journey. We see potential in you, young Padawan. It's really kind of you guys. It's been a long time since I've had a nice chat. I'm gonna head to bed. Night. Have a good sleep, Mishima. I tend to purr loudly in my sleep sometimes, so apologies in advance. I might shout out about catnip now and again. Alrighty. So I guess we unlock this door. Well, I guess I have to manually get the key out. Oh, it's spooky booky in here. No books at all, but the thing is, there's bookshelves. So that hints that they used to be books. Oh. Ugh. Ladders. Ever since I upgraded my hand and arm, I've disliked ladders. Well, why is that? Because they're hard to climb down? Exactly. It's one of the only downsides not having two human hands. Well, don't worry. We've got Frey to help out. Hell yeah, I can carry all of you down, I guess. Thanks, Bam, for volunteering me, you little furry jerk. Let's go and see what's down here, then. I'm curious to see what kind of fights are down here. Oh. Phew! Frey, you didn't tell me this would be a stinky adventure. Stinky and possibly illegal? Any time now, the Swan Light will make it completely illegal for civilians to enter the sewers. I don't think they would need to make it illegal. Shouldn't people be put off anyway because it's the sewers? So it's a good thing we're moving forward quickly. Well, considering how many rules and laws we've already broken and will break along the way to the Pantheon, I guess you're officially one of us now. I'm okay with that. Good, because we're gonna go kick some, I just wanna see what fights are like down here. Look at the little spiky woo. I'm a little bit worried that I'm gonna get completely annihilated in this fight, but I just wanted to see. What this is so we got biker balls or a, a cyber urchin. I love it. Let's try and womp this guy. It. Oh jeez. Four. Um. Memory management to repair. Oh my gosh. She seems confusing right now, but I'm sure this gets makes more sense the more you play with it. So let's just use a simple snipe. Whoa! I'll take it. Oh, cool. I'll take that, too. Wait, he just healed somebody, didn't he? It didn't really do much good. Yeah! One down, one to go. Alright. Now, uh, oh, zero! Oh, shit. No, does he have really good health? 
Oh no, is it only magic attacks that hurt him? Wait, how come that didn't hit any? Oh, that didn't hit anybody. Okay, I need to check something here. Okay, that did work. He's just got super high defense then, I guess. Yep, one, I guess, is better than zero, but I don't want to use too much of Mishima's CPU. Because it's her health, right? As well as her attack power. Uh, I don't... He doesn't seem to be doing anything for himself. I don't know. One, I really need to work on my bloody skills. Skills that kills. Okay, I need to... Use this. Ram refresh. See what that does for me. Oh, it was it stores GPU. Well, that's not what I was expecting. But hell, at least I... There we go. That must be Mishima getting levels up. Yeah, it is. Four level up points. I'll take it. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm going to just head into that bottom corner first with it. But for now, that must be an entrance to something. This is icky. Let's have a good mooch around. Oh my word, this is very labyrinthine. Oh, there's a ladder down. I ain't going down there yet. Uh, oh gosh, there's a pathway up. Ah, there's too much stuff. I'm confused. I wonder if you can go in that pipe that I just saw. Is there two paths up? No. Dead end. Dead ends. Dead ends in sewers. <laughs> can we go in here? Oh, we can go through here. Ah, I get it. Yeah, two dead memories. Okay, I'm going to use both of them on Mishima because she's a newbie and she does need some help with leveling stuff up here. She will level up pretty quick with us though because when they come in, so I, I wasn't sure if it did kind of level management. How oh, in some RPGs when you get in when you get a new character, join your party, sometimes they align with your stats a little bit, so they'll come in at roughly your level. But this is one of those games where they come in. At a fixed level, so oh, this is a long way down. Holy boy! Black discard. I've got a feeling that. Wait a minute. So pages of a diary on the floor. Most of it's damaged due to contact with water, but part of it's legible. Thank God I was moved to work in the sewers of Adapirion. The laughter of an Akio was driving me crazy, and I was only there for about a week. Oh. Hmm. There's something odd going on in Akio, that's for sure. Oh, that is all there is down here. Okay. Well, I say all. It was worth it. I feel sorry for Mishima having to do this big, huge ladder climb. I feel sorry for Freya having to carry her down, at the very least. So we are meant to go this way. Okay. Go through here. Yep. A yellow battery. A tuna roll. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious, depending on what your what your body type is. Battery for one, tuna roll for another. Mm. Okay. Uh, mm. Oh, oh, hello. All pages. A book and a bunch of its pages are strewn about on the floor. It was Katharos himself who financed the research of Shinoku Saki using the wealth left to him by his parents. Little did Katharos know that Shinoku Saki had ambitions far greater than that of cardio chip. Saki dreamed not of replacing just the heart, but the brain itself. Saki viewed flesh as weakness, and was prepared to do whatever it took to take humanity beyond its mortal cage. Learned a little bit more about that person. Hmm. Wanted to do full body transfers, huh? Always a dangerous step. Oop. There's lots of dead memories kicking around down here. Feel bad for giving them all to Mishima because when she starts leveling up, she will get higher numbers anyway. But for now, it's just going to be a handy little boost. Not that I'm getting 20 fights at the moment, except the one I got into, but just to test the water a little bit. Salmon roll. Just wondering if this is a. Oh. Wait, what? Whoa, cool. What is this? Ultra Axe? Yeah! Bitchin! That's probably going to require far too much SP for one attack, though, so I guess um, I might just save it for boss fights. That's still pretty nifty. 
Wait, I went this way, didn't I? And I went up. So there's only really... Did I go to the left? Yeah, I read that. Okay. We looked everywhere. Oh, cool. Check it out. Where, where... Oh, we got out. That's what it is. We got out and around. Yeah, boy. Stupid soldiers. Uh-huh. You suck. Uh... Okay, let's... Oh, look at all these berries. I realised, you know, that I left some berries behind earlier on in the game. I, uh... But that's just the way it goes. What's this? To Dandy Forest. Oh, that's where we're going, right? To Dandy Forest. Because I... For... For Troit. For Troit, it's in a... <laughs> I love it. Well, I think this is as good a time as any to have another campfire first. Get another campfire out the way. Talk about maybe the sewers. And then I will do some serious level upage between now and the next video. So that I can uh, not die hideously when I actually start fighting some, uh, some more bosses. Hey Freya. Can I tell you a secret? Shime, go away. We've been through a lot together and I feel like I can tell you anything. But most importantly... I know I can tell you because you won't tell anyone. Bam. That's rude. But true. But rude. Did, uh, did he not tell us the secret? Was that really it? It was just Bam being a jerk? Wow. Great talk, guys. Great talk. So, I guess um, next time we'll go through Tadandi Forest. That's our mission next time. We'll see, what the, see what's crack a lacking in there. But in the meantime, don't forget to wobble the like button if you're enjoying my playthrough towards the Pantheon. Don't forget to check the game off yourselves if you want to. I, I'm putting the description... Uh, pfft, I'm putting the description... I'm putting a link to the, um, the game itself uh, in the description below in every video. So you can go and buy it yourselves and have a good playthrough. It's such a fun RPG. I can't, I can't promote it enough. It's so beautifully done and... Uh, I love it. Anything with a really good battle and stats system... I'm in. I'm all in. So I'm still really enjoying this. I do, yes. And don't forget to walk on the subscribe button too. If you want to stay up to date with my shenanigans and games other than this one too. Because you know there's more to my channel than towards the Pantheon. Although it might not feel like that at the moment. Because I'm really going hard at it. Because I like it so much. <laughs> I've been Mikey Bly. And I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or night. I'll see you all next time around. Bye for now.